GCSE Spanish 30 day challenge. Easy revision in two minute bite sized videos. Now, in this video, we will look at translation, and it's a translation from Spanish to English. Yeah, so there's Spain and there's England, so we're doing Spanish to English. Sure, you get the idea? Let's get going. Let's dive in. So, what do you have to do in the translation? The first thing is, get that translation in front of you. And now we've got some points which you can do, practical points. So the first thing you do is you get an idea of what the passage is about. So you get the gist, you get the feel of it. And then point number two, what you look at, sometimes word order is different from English to Spanish, so be careful. Sometimes the subject and the verbs are switched around. And to get an idea of what's going on, use the context and use your common sense. Sometimes people fail to use their common sense and it's super important in this part of the exam. Use cognates. In other words, words that look the same or nearly the same. Examples, hotel or Biologia, biology. Beware the false friend, amigos falsos. So what is an amigo falso? Well, here's an example, libreria. Well, it looks like it's a library, but be careful, ojo, as they say in Spanish, be careful, it's not. It's a bookshop. Weren't expecting that, were you? And the grammar, tense indicators. Make sure you're aware of the present and the future and the pressure and the imperfect because that will add accuracy and total accuracy to your translation. And these are the skills that you need to develop. Well, he's developed a few skills, that chap. Don't always try to translate for word for word. It doesn't work. You might have to play around with it a little bit. And sometimes you might need to paraphrase. That's to say, using the same meaning but slightly different words to get the idea over, to get the translation over. And when you've done, read the translation to yourself. <laughs> does it sound natural? And if it does, you're good to go. But if not, have a rethink. So, why don't you get training? Hasta pronto, amigos míos.